Hi everyone, I am Professor Matthew C. Lang, but I prefer to just go by Matt. Please call me Matt. My pronouns are he, him. I'm sitting in my backyard just north of the city. As you can tell, that backyard is against the forest, and you may also be able to tell that it is against a busy street. It's a great location because I go back and forth from here to the city every week. I've been teaching at City Tech for quite some time now, um, my background is in photography, but I've always made photography in a way that incorporates concepts and theories and presents them in a sort of designed type of way. I create posters, publications, I try to mix writing and ideas with my photographs and present it in a sort of designed type of way. I know that that's very vague, but I hope it gives you a little bit of, of a background. I'm very excited that we get to have this theory course. I think it's really critical to what you do as an artist, as a designer, and it's a lot of what I think about. It's a lot of the content that I consider. So my goal in, in teaching this is to keep looking at new ideas and new theories and to keep thinking about ways that I can present those in my own practice through photographs and through des design objects that I make with my photographs. When it comes to the fashion that's gotten me through the pandemic, I don't know if you can call it fashion, but I've become obsessed with traveler pants. Um, you know, when like jeans are like too much for a day, too rigid and like sweatpants are just sort of, you know, make you hate yourself. I don't know. Um, these are like khakis that have elastic on the waist and the ankles. I've actually gotten a couple pairs of them. Saving my life. It's my go-to. It's my crutch. I need to wear them. I'm going to wear like actual pants during class, but don't worry. I'm going to put on, you know, the comfortable clothes when we get out of here. A theory that I've heard recently is that eating lion's mane mushrooms and a couple other varieties as well can actually rebuild the human nervous system. The idea is that they actually build these neural networks in the forest where they grow and by eating them it does a similar thing inside of the human body. So I'm not sure how true this is. Um, I actually saw it on a documentary so maybe there's some validity maybe it's totally made up but it was really cool to hear i think it's totally fascinating and there's actually a lot of science sort of studying whether or not that's possible so that's my theory can't wait to hear yours and can't wait for our class very much looking forward to meeting everyone and looking forward to a great semester thanks